Welcome to Microsoft Expert Zone UK and I and our updated how to series for 2025, where we show you how to do stuff with Microsoft products like activating your new Microsoft 365 subscription. So, of course, we've got to show you how to do it on a Windows 11 PC. Yes, this is a Windows 11 laptop. And while you might expect Microsoft 365 to already be loaded up and ready to go, it actually hasn't come fully pre installed on every Windows device for quite a few years now. Now, the apps like Word, PowerPoint and Excel are still there, I promise. You just need to go through some extra steps to get the full Microsoft 365 experience, including some great features like Copilot. So the next part has a few ways in which you can activate Microsoft 365, depending on where you are in your Microsoft 365 journey. To make life easier for you, we've cut this video up into little slices, so you can just consume the piece you need, or if you fancy sticking around and watching the whole thing, then go for it. Section one is a section for you if you already have a Microsoft 365 subscription and you just wanna know how to activate it on your new Windows 11 device. Section two is for those who have a pre-purchase code from either a local retailer or an online one and have that 25 digit code to hand to activate Microsoft 365. And section three is if you don't have Microsoft 365 at all and you wanna subscribe monthly on your device. So make the choice you need and go to that bit either by using the links in the description or following these timestamps and I'll see you there. Section one, active Microsoft 365 account. If you have a Microsoft 365 license already, open up any Office app that is already installed on the device. When you start an app like Word or PowerPoint that's not activated, you'll be prompted to sign in to Microsoft 365 through a pop-up. Hit sign in and make sure you sign in with the same Microsoft account you've already purchased your Microsoft 365 subscription with. Then just choose what format you want your documents in and you're done. Remember, with a Microsoft 365 personal family subscription, you can do this with up to five devices per user, which is great when it's just this easy. Section two, pre-purchased. With a pre-purchase code, you will need to activate this before jumping into the Office app. To do this, open up your choice of internet browser and go to setup.office.com. We've also put the link in the description for you. Once there, click Get Started and sign in to your Microsoft account, which will be a live Outlook or Hotmail email address, for example, or you can create a new Microsoft account because you will need it and it's free. The account you sign into is the account that the Microsoft 365 li license will be linked to. Next up is the product key, the 25 digit code on the back of the card you bought or you will have received as part of your online purchase. Stick that into these boxes and tap next. Confirm your product key is the right one and press next. This next window is if you want to set up reoccurring billing, which will come into effect after the year you've just bought runs out at £104.99 annually for a family subscription and £84.99 for personal. Now you have two choices here. You can either accept this and if you do, you get a free month added to your subscription before it renews. Or you can say no thanks. If you want to go for it, then click add payment method and add your payment details. But they are your details, so we can't help you any more here with that. Once you're done though, follow the instructions to finish the redemption. Then there is if you don't want to activate reoccurring billing. Just click no thanks and then check out the terms and conditions here. Then check the box if you want to receive tips and offers about Microsoft products and services. And once you've done that, click redeem. Once this has been done, open an Office app like Word or PowerPoint and select existing Microsoft 365 user sign in and sign into the account with the linked Microsoft 365 license. And you're done. Part three, subscribe to Microsoft 365. If you don't have Microsoft 365 at all and you wanna subscribe from your new Windows 11 device, then start by opening up the Microsoft Store. You can find this app by simply searching for Microsoft Store in the taskbar or looking for this bag icon with the Microsoft logo on. Then in the store, use this search bar at the top to search for Microsoft 365. Then you'll be given two options, Microsoft 365 Personal or Family. Microsoft 365 Personal is a one user license that will give you access to the premium office apps, one terabyte of OneDrive cloud storage, and can be used on up to five devices at £8.49 a month or £84.99 a year. Microsoft 365 Family gives you the same premium apps and OneDrive cloud storage and can be shared with up to six people in total each person being able to use up to five devices each and getting their own one terabyte of OneDrive cloud storage to use for just £10.49 a month or £104.99 a year. Once you've chosen which of the licenses is most appropriate for you, hit buy. 
Next, log into the Microsoft account you want the license attributed to. This will be an at live, Outlook or Hotmail email address, for example. If you don't have one or you want a new one, then choose create one. Use an existing email address or create a new one, add some personal details, and when you're done, you'll be prompted to add a payment method to finish your purchase. These though are your payment details, so I can't help you here. Once you're done, just follow the instructions to finish your purchase, including if you want to add reoccurring billets. Once you're done, head into any Office app like Word and select existing Microsoft 365 user and sign in to the same account you use to purchase Microsoft 365 and you're going to be good to go. And there you have it, job done. You're all set to enjoy the perks of premium Office apps to whip up anything your heart desires and a whole one terabyte of OneDrive cloud storage to safely stash those priceless family photos and documents. Oh, and as a bonus, you can have it on up to five devices and they don't have to be Windows devices. So check out these videos here if you want to activate your subscription on a spare iPad or MacBook that you may just have lying around. Now, if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay up to date with more videos like this. And maybe even drop a comment below letting us know which section that you found most useful. Thanks for watching though. I've been Hannah. You've been watching Microsoft Experts Zone UK and I, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.